All right. Hello, everyone. I don't mean to bombard you on Thanksgiving Day with multiple videos, but <laughs> I just recently noticed a comment on one of my older OpenBSD videos in which it was asked uh, how to uh, shut down and reboot the system on OpenBSD. And I just now saw it. The comment was from like three months ago. And I just, if, if you're watching, you're the one who left the comment. I'm so sorry. I was not ignoring you. I just now saw it. And hopefully this might help somebody else. How to shut down and reboot. Now, of course, I'm using OpenBox. So I'm going to show you how I do it in OpenBox. And how this might be able to relay over to an actual desktop environment, I don't know. I would assume that this will also work on any other window manager in uh, OpenBSD, but that's just an assumption. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I've rattled my tongue long enough now, so let me show you how I do it. This is the way I do it. Now, in OpenBSD, you have the do as package, which is standard. It comes straight out of the box. You don't have to install it. It's already there. So, let's open up my file manager. And I will show you my do as conf file. And that's found in etc. I recently showed this on another video, but I'm going to show it again since this is specific about rebooting and shutting down. So here's my doas.cont file. If you don't have this file, just create it. I had to create mine. Okay, so I'm going to open that with LeafPad just so you can see it. I'm not root right now, so I can't do any damage to it. And let me increase the font size. I think I went up to 22. That seemed to be a good size. All right. Now my doas.conf file is very basic. Um, basically what doas is, it allows you as the user to do things that normally would be have to, uh, normally would only be able to be performed by root. So you still have to set this up as root. You can't, you can't just type out this doas.conf file, put it in etc, and think it's going to work, because it won't. It won't even accept it. You have to do it as root. You have to make this file as root. All right, my first, my first line here is just permitting me, I'm Dan, to use doas as a root user if that makes sense. In other words, I could open up a terminal and let's say I wanted to install <clears throat> uh, I don't even know if this is in the repositories. Let's say I wanted to install Galculator. I could open the terminal. I could type in I'll come down here and type it. So just pretend I'm doing this in a terminal. I could type in do as package add calculator. And as soon as I was to, hit, if I were to hit enter on that, it would ask for my password and install it if calculator is in the repos. That's what that first line up here does. Instead of me having to type in su enter my password, and then enter the command, I can do it all in one line, okay? Now, right here, here are my shutdown and reboot options. And what this is, it's saying, it's permitting me not to have to enter a password 
to reboot the computer. Okay? Because out of the box on OpenBSD, only root can reboot and shut down. So what we have here, it's permitting without a password, no pass. It's permitting without a password for Dan to perform this command, CMD command, reboot. And again on the next line, same thing, shut down. Okay. And that's for my webcam. I discussed that in the other video. Very important. Add this to your doas.conf file about reboot without a password. All right, I'll put these in the description. Now, what did I do? Well, I added it to both my menu and RC XML files. First, I'll show you my menu. Oh good, that's still big. So let's go all the way to the bottom. <clears throat> Here's my menu. If you notice here, I have a screen lock, which is SL lock. And under my exit menu, I have the options to shut down, reboot, or log out. That's all I need. If you're wanting to know about suspend and stuff like that, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I never use those options, so I, you know, I didn't even go to the trouble to try to figure it out. All right, let's look at my. This is my menu. So what I did. There's the command to reboot. Do as reboot and right up here is let's see if I can stretch that out some more so we can get it all on one line do as shut down H now now I do want to stress you might want to look at the man pages for both shut down and reboot because there's there are other options that's the option I'm using there's other options besides dash H. So just look over those man pages and see what options you might want. But it's very important in your execute command to include do as. Do as shut down H now. And do as, oops, do as reboot. Okay. I hope that makes sense. And I'll show you my RC XML file because I made some keybinds. I made a couple of, well, I have three keybinds for shutdown, reboot, and logout. So let's search for do as, and I'll show that to you. All right. So I have these key binds here. The Windows key plus shift and the letter L will log out. The Windows key plus shift plus the letter R will reboot. And the Windows key plus shift plus the letter S will shut down. And again, just need to include the word do as with the option, do as reboot, do as shut down H now. All right, that's it. I hope that helps. And again, to the person who asked the question and I just now saw it, I sincerely apologize. I was not ignoring you and I hope that helps you. I hope it helps anybody who might need the help. All right. So there you go. You guys have a great day, great weekend coming up. And today is Thanksgiving in the United States. And just always remember, a little bit of puffer fish on Thanksgiving can go a long way. Oh, yeah.